A former chief of staff claims he had sexual intercourse with a Fulton County commissioner in her downtown Atlanta office, among several other places. The former employee has accused Commissioner Natalie Hall of sexual harassment and wrongful termination. He has gone to federal court asking for back pay, damages for emotional distress, and attorney's fees. Fox Eyes Anjali Proctor first broke this story last year. She is joining us live from the federal courthouse where Anjali an EEOC hearing on his complaint began today. That's right, Christine, and I got to tell you, this EEOC hearing sounded more like an As the World Turns or some other soap opera episode. We heard all kinds of testimony today about sex in a Fulton County office, as well as uh, jealousy about other women and even planting tracking devices. Calvin Brock is the former chief of staff for Fulton County District 4 Commissioner Natalie Hall. Brock, who worked in law enforcement for 15 years, testified Tuesday he was forced into a sexual relationship with his boss, Commissioner Hall. Brock says months into his $65,000 a year job as community relations manager, he and Hall started having sporadic sex at his apartment, her home, and even her office. Brock alleges Commissioner Hall, who was married, would come out naked at times when they were supposed to be working at her home. During that time, Brock testified he received two promotions. Brock claims he ultimately ended the relationship and wanted to date other women, but keep the chief of staff job at $125,000 a year. He testified that is when Commissioner Hall allegedly planted three tracking and recording devices in two of his personal cars and started getting upset about him dating other women. But attorneys for the commissioner fired back. They said the sex was consensual and Brock told Hall she could have him anytime she wanted. In their opening statements, they said Commissioner Hall didn't fire Brock, but rather he initiated his own resignation. They also stated Brock welcomed the sex on numerous occasions. Now this hearing is expected to last six days. There is no jury, so the judge will have the last word. Live at the Fulton County, I'm sorry, live at the U.S. Courthouse, Angelique Proctor. Fox All right, Angelique, thank you so much.